Michael Anderson with Specialty Archery. In today's video, we're gonna go over one of the new products we have, which is a conversion kit to allow you to convert your original Sherlock X-Press for use with our new ProPress limb ears. So here we have the collection of parts that make up the ProPress uh, conversion kit and the tools that are gonna be needed. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove all the old components from the press, and then I'm gonna show you how to put all the new components back in place. So the first thing I'm gonna show you in the video is how to disassemble the original parts on the press uh, before we replace them with the new parts. First thing you want to do is remove the rubber buttons from the end, again using a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, once those are out, you can remove the straps here, which you'll have to remove the clear plastic coverings. To do that, we recommend taking a knife. These have already been cut for easy removal but slide the knife along there to slit them, which will allow for easy removal. Slide these off. Let's set these down here. Now you can take the connecting straps off. Remove the cotter pin. Slide that off. And remove the other side. Now we can take the existing limb sliders off, the end of the limb swing arms. Like so. And the last step is going to be the removal of the swing arms themselves. So the next step is going to be removal of the swing arms. And to do that, first you're going to remove the cotter pin from the back of the axle. You may need to tap it out with a hammer. and then take the existing swing arm out of the press. We do the same thing on the other side here. So the first step in reinstalling all the parts on our press is going to be to put the swing arm on. Now there is a right and a left, so you want to make sure that you can read the writing as you're facing the press like so. Now, a lot of times there's a little bit of finish on the inside of these channels, so you may need to tap these in place using a rubber mallet here. So first thing that you want to do is apply a little bit of grease to the inside of the channel here which will let everything uh, pivot more freely. So we'll take our axle. We've already installed the, the clip on there. Set this in place and we might need to tap it a little bit. Make sure the holes are lined up. Take a hammer and you want to tap that all the way through to where the knurled section of the axle comes to rest in the flat plate here. That's going to keep that pin from pivoting when you operate the press. Okay. Okay. Once that's fully flush, we're going to reinstall the clip on the front of there and repeat the process for the other side. So the next step is to install these blind shaft limb sliders here. So we're going to grab one of those two of the slider plates. And when you slide this on the limb swing arm, you want to place one plate on the bottom of the channel and the other one on the front of the channel directly behind the thumb screw. Slide that over the end of the limb swing arm and tighten it into place, like so. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. The next step is to replace the long, flat swing arm connector straps. There is a right and a left. You want to orient these so the writing is up in this case, we're going to install the left side first. Large hole goes on the left side, and the writing is up. So to install these, you're going to slide that over the spline shaft. It might go on there kind of tight because of the finish on the inside of that. But if you work it all the way to the back, you should be able to install it just like so. Pass the groove for the snap uh, ring. Slide that up. Place that onto the peg there, like so. Then we're going to go ahead and put the snap ring in place. It's going to be the one inch snap ring. Use our snap ring pliers. Slide that back into place like so. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and duplicate the process for the other side. 
Now that we have both of these swing arm connector straps in place over both of the spline shafts, both of the rings are in place, we replace the cotter pin, like so. The next step is to install the limb ears, and you'll notice there is a right and a left. There's also a left inner, a left outer, a right inner, and a right outer. So we'll grab the right ones. The inner, you should place it onto the spline shaft so the writing is out. So this is the right inner, this is the right outer. And they slide over the shafts like so. Same thing on the left side, there's a left inner and a left outer. Slide those onto the shafts like so. The next step is going to be to place the cotter pins in the limb swing arms. You want to place these on the outside of the limb slider. And what these do is they keep, they're a safety pin to keep these from being forced up when you're pressing an extreme pass parallel limbo. So we'll just place those in like so. Place it in like so, and these will be adjusted depending upon which bow model you're using at that particular time. But again, what they're designed to do is keep that from being forced up on a pass parallel limbo. So the last couple of steps are to replace the rubber buttons on the end of the limb swing arms. So the last step is going to be to install the white nylon coverings over the riser support pegs and you want to tap those on to where they're flush with the front of the peg. Get started. And again, you'll stop when that's flush with the front of the peg. Same thing on the other side. Just like so. Okay, so the last thing to do to make the press ready to use is to install the safety straps. They have a loop on one end and a cap on the other. That loop is just placed over the riser support peg, like so. Slide it all the way back, just like that. Same thing on the other side. Over the peg, slide it all the way back. Next thing we're going to show you is how that operates. Okay, now we've got a bow installed into the press. We've got our straps in place. They're looped here on the back. To use those, go over the front of the riser, place the cap over the riser support peg, like so, and draw the strap tight. Once that's tightened, that will keep the bow firmly secured into the press. We do the same thing on the other side. Run the strap around the front of the riser, onto the peg, and I like to wrap this around so I can get a lot of force on it. Tighten it into the press like so. Now the bow is securely contained within the press. This is Michael Anderson with Specialty Archery going over our new Pro Press Conversion Kit. Thanks for watching.